What a luscious-looking hunk of flesh you are. Uh, thank you, I guess. Who are you? <gasps> How charming of you to pretend not to know. I'm Black Widow, of course. The femme fatale of all femme fatales. Know what I mean? <laughs> you know, I was just thinking it was time I found my 50th, uh, another husband. It would be quite a horror. Uh, I mean, an honor to have me as a bride. <laughs> just look at my beautiful weaving. It's so light, so delicate. You'll never want to leave my little nest. Hmm. It is a lovely web, but my heart is elsewhere, I'm afraid. Oh, drat! Uh, <clears throat> I mean, <laughs> the loss is yours. I'm sure you'll change your mind once you consider the advantages. Hey! Don't touch that thread! Alexander snatches the scrap of parchment, curious to see what's written on it. The wind blows the scrap of paper from Alexander's hand, but he remembers what it said well enough. What do you think you're doing? I'm sorry. I, I didn't realize these books had an owner. I'm in need of a rare book. <laughs> no owner? All books have owners, my good man. And this book owner, bookworm to you, wouldn't part with one of his books for anything. Isn't there something I can do for you to pay for the book? Hmm, let's see. Do you have an itinerant clause? No. No clauses at all, I'm afraid. As an exception, you always should! <laughs> Don't mind Oxymoron and Diphthong. They're fairly limited grammatical principles, you know. Hmm, let's see. A marsh pig that does Texas? Uh, no. I'm afraid not. A dangling participle? I'm fresh out. A purple fiddlewhacker? No, I don't think so. Sorry. An idiosyncrasy, perhaps? Right not. Ha! Huh, then what good are you? Alexander reads the love poem. What was it? What the name? Alexander pulls out his magic map. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. Perhaps Alexander ought to find out more about the... Hello, friend. Aren't you an odd-looking little fellow? You are. Oh, I'm sorry. I I didn't realize you could speak. Speak not. Funny is, speech I am and nothing but. Alexander holds the sentence out to the creature. This sentence seems in need of an ending. Perhaps you could finish it. Where are you going? Where are you going? Know what I do? Where are you going to? Like you, I do. Go I with you. Well, that was certainly interesting. 
It looks like Alexander now has a passenger. Alexander pulls out his magic map. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. Hello, bookworm. I have something you might be interested in. Well, what is it this time? I found this little fellow lost on another island. Coming home I am too! There you are, you naughty boy. I told you not to leave the island. Glad I am seeing you too! A most <laughs> solemn celebration! So, you found my dangling participle. I suppose I'll have to give you something. Oh, let's see now. Was it a rare book you wanted? Yes, sir. Well, then none of these will do. They've been sitting in the sun far too long and must be well cooked by now. This one is far more rare. A delicious little tidbit. Mm. Uh, thanks. Alexander opens the rare book and looks inside. The book contains riddles and has a page missing. Alexander glances at a few of the conundrums, but finds himself more curious about the one that is missing. What was the riddle, he wonders? More importantly, what was the answer? Checkmate! Only chess pieces allowed in chessboard land! That's right! Humans aren't allowed in and never will be! Stay out! I must insist, Your Highness. I shall send the lump of coal to the Wizier and the Princess as a present for their wedding, and that's the end of it. And I suppose you'll leave me with only this stupid spoiled egg to send, Your Highness. I want to impress the new King and Queen of the Realm as much as you do. As Queen of this island, I have every right to that lump of coal. Who isn't Queen of this isle? The lump of coal is in my possession, therefore I shall do as I please with it. Besides, there's nothing wrong with that spoiled egg. The egg, though delightfully spoiled, is not nearly so valuable as the lump of coal, and you know it. Your Highness always got to carry the singing stone. It's not fair that you get the coal, too. That doesn't count. The singing stone was stolen by that horrid beast. I should get to keep the coal just because my stone was stolen. It wasn't your stone. It belonged to the Isle of Wonder Treasury. Your Highness always thinks that everything is hers. Excuse me, my good man, but could you settle an argument for us? Which of us should get to carry the coal and which the egg? Remember, white is the color of deserving truth and virtue. 
quiet, your highness, and let him make up his own mind. I, for one, shall be more proper, and not even mention the fact that red is the color of love. I'm sorry, your majesties. I'm partial to both red and white, but I'm afraid that I don't know how to solve your problem. One of you will just have to be gracious and allow the other the lump of coal. What a ridiculously stupid idea! Quite ludicrous. He was a lot of help, wasn't he? Oh, yes. Obviously a man of high intelligence. The lump of coal goes much better with my gown anyway. Black and red are imperial colors. That's the silliest thing I ever heard. Red does not go with anything, being much too self-conscious. White is the perfect accompaniment to any color. Alexander picks up the Red Queen's scarf. The scarf is made of red silk. Is that lettuce growing in the garden? It looks a little chilled. Why, it must be iceberg lettuce. Alexander picks a head of iceberg lettuce. Ye gads! Is that cold? Alexander pulls out his magic map. Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. Hoping to cool down the boiling pond, Alexander throws in a head of iceberg lettuce. The pond's water slowly stops boiling, cooled by the ice. It still looks hot, but bearable. Alexander decides to brave the steaming pond. Ouch! Ow! Ooh, 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 ouch! The pond is no longer boiling, but it's hardly bathwater. Alexander takes the old hunter's lamp from the tree. As Alexander continues down the path, he gets the strange feeling that he's being watched. Come on over here and see what I'm doing with these flowers. Never mind that stone fella on top of the gate. He won't hurt you any. He's just there to scare you. this time. Tickets up. Next. That move was slightly erroneous. <laughs>